Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's James. Today we're going to be debunking the myth of the showers with turbo fans. Do they work? So what we're going to do, we're going to unpack it, we're going to take it apart, we're going to see if there's any extra power elements in here. We're going to have a look at the claims that it makes on the box in beautiful English. And then we're going to actually pipe it up to a gravity head thing. Why don't you come with me and have a look? Let's have a look. Come on. Yes, for some reason I own a tuk-tuk, I don't know why. Then we're going to pipe it up to our lovely f and &E tank up top there and we're going to run it up against a standard shower head that doesn't have a turbo fan in it or a filter and then we're going to pop this on as well and see if it actually does increase the pressure. This is such a controversial video, the police are already looking for me. So please hit the subscribe button, please hit the like, please comment below and let's get on with the video. Hold tight! Before we get started with this video, I'd like to ask you to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's really important and helps the channel grow. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So then guys, what do we get when we buy one of these turbo showers? This is the Calabash Brothers turbocharged shower. Now, I just want to read to you some of the things that it says that it claims it can do on the box before we unbox it and have a look. It says that comfortable shower relax. The water flow is clearer and softer and wash away the tiredness of the day. We've got filtered skin beauty turbocharged, pressurized water, water pressure regulating, magic way of water outlet. And the product features we've got rugged and durable, adjustable water pressure, turbocharging, supercharged, pressurized water saving, water filter purification, magic water line. So we've got a knob water stop, rotate to adjust water pressure, rotate from zero to 90 degrees to adjust water flow and stop water. Increase water pressure. Now this is the bit that I'm funny about. Increase water pressure, built-in charged turbo fan. Water jets are sprayed on the blades of the turbo fan and it will drive the turbo fan to rotate quickly. When the turbo fan rotates quickly, the water flow will be reversely pressurized and the internal pressure will increase. What? And then we've got an intimate design. Front channel cover scrub slash back rub brush. The shower head panel has a raised silicon ball that can be used for bathing and many more things. Okay, so that's what it says. Let's see what's in the box, shall we? Oh, bloody hell. So it looks like we've got some filters here. There now. Nice. And they look to me like they're made of like wound plastic. I, I'd be worried about using these in a lime scale hard water area. Or if I was not gonna use the shower for a long time, I'd get a feeling that this filter here would keep water in it. Uh, the water would get moldy. If you were gonna go away for a couple of weeks, you'd come back. Uh, and that would probably be mouldy, uh, which is nice because you're gonna be able to see that inside this shower. Uh, and here it is, here's the beast. Uh, we get four in here, and also we've got one already in the box here, or in the shower head. So the shower head itself, we've got an on-off knob. We've got a little sexy rubby bit as well, Vanna. On the bottom, we've got a protector for the thread, a plastic thread, and also a filter in there with a the gauze in it. Uh, you're supposed to be able to, oh. So you can take this apart, and there's our internal filter there. All right, uh, shower head, quarter turn, twists off and comes off. Now, one thing I'm gonna say, guys, if you're gonna put this on an electric shower, the electric shower is running, and you've got a valve that can turn off the shower head, the electric shower is going to overheat, it's going to fail, it's going to break it, okay, over time. I would not recommend putting this on an electric shower. Um, right, let's have a look in here. So we take off this piece here. Okay, we've got a little foam pad, a bit for foundation, lovely. And then we've got this turbo fan. Now I don't see any batteries, there's no solar panels. Yeah, it's just a fan that spins around. I've never heard of reverse pressurization before, especially using a plastic fan with gold plating on it, or faux gold plating, very unusual. And then I think really what it comes down to is is that we've got this plate here with tiny holes in it. That's it. Right, I think I've seen enough. <laughs> Let's test it. Right then, so you've seen what's in the box, you've seen how beautiful these things are. Does the fan do something? I mean, we've seen that there's no extra power. We're not putting any extra energy into this. I mean, from a physics perspective, it really, really shouldn't work. So, you know, let's see if it does. Maybe it's just got smaller holes on the outlet. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna pipe up the actual feed to our ball valve up there on that tank. 
is currently not connected and we're just going to join that up with a little bit of flexi pipe or whatever just to get it in and then we're going to cut this pipe here we're going to pop a small connector on that and just put a shower hose off that what that will do is simulate exactly the shower head pressure that you'd normally get in a house and the reason i think some people will be buying this is because they've got a system like this what we call a gravity fed system if you've got a pressurized system already the shower this shower head is not going to do anything it's not going to make it better it's not going to make it any more brilliant all right so let's get on with it now follow me around while i do this it's going to be great by the way all the tools i use in this video you can buy on our amazon store hell yeah right so this has actually been kinked by my plasterer thank you mate love you so we're just going to unkink that a bit and pop clips off any of you want to know how to pop clips off and where you could learn more than one thing in this video you just get yourself a slotted screwdriver pop it in the side of the clip that's actually the bit that comes off and just push it off like that and there we go done so that's going to be our feed pipe there do love my ox cutters guys ratchet cutters so much better we've got a bit of water in here probably a lovely bit of legionella some people are going to comment on this video like i can't believe you make light of the fact that legionella is actually a thing you can't joke about anything anymore can you hey emily Right, so we've got that out of the way. Jerry's gonna be getting that next door. Hopefully I've got uh, 15 mil to half inch compression, but if I don't, I don't really wanna run it through that because that restricts the flow. So we wanna try and just get it through a normal compression fitting. That one will work fine, even though it doesn't have quite the right flat on the bottom of it. Got a little bit of general drippage coming out of here. Problem I've had for many years, a bit of the old drippage. I mean, I've had this system set up here for all the showers that I've demonstrated over the years. Stuart Turner shower pumps that I've done stuff on in here. Look at that. Boom, we're ready to go. If I went and got a shower hose, so standard shower hose, look, no skullduggery going on here. Same at the other end. Let me just show you. So this is a standard shower head. I don't know what manufacturer it is, but look, we've got normal hose, totally like nothing going on here that's dodge. And then of course, the international storage place for all screwdrivers. Tell me you've not done that when you're an apprentice <laughs> and your boss goes insane at you. Insane in the membrane. Right, so very quickly, I'm just gonna link up that pipe up there down to this pipe here and then we can get that tank filling up ready for this world beating, life-changing demonstration as to whether brothers, is it Carabash brothers? Whether, yeah, the Carabash brothers. What I'm gonna do is get that piped up up there down here so we can feed our F&E tank so then we can get gravity water coming down through this pipe here, much like it would if it was going through a bar mixer valve or something like that. And then we can actually see if the Calabash brothers, whoever they may be, whether their claims are true. I don't know if I'm going to put this on the Amazon shop or not. I might do. Just products featured in videos. That'll be it. <laughs> right then, guys. So we've turned, well, we haven't turned the water on just yet, but just so you know what we're doing, we've got our mains pipe there and I've just joined it up with a bit of uh, JG or Hepto or whatever. So the ball valve up there. So hopefully when I turn this on here, there we go. Water going into the ball valve above. Which should mean that in a few minutes time, you should finally get water coming out of this when I turn that valve on up there. Let me just very quickly explain to you about head pressure. I've done a few videos on this in the past. And if you haven't subscribed to know about these videos, then why not? Head pressure, when we're working on something like a gravity fed system, like the one we're on at the moment, is defined purely by how far above all of your outlets that tank up there is. The higher that tank is, the better head pressure you're gonna get. It also does relate to the size of the pipe. So for instance, we've got a 22 mil reducing down to 15 mil here, but if you ran it, all of it in 28 mil, you're gonna get not only really good head pressure, but good flow as well. So if you are here because you wanna see whether this shower head is gonna solve uh, the pressure and the flow, as a plumber, we haven't tested it yet, but I know that the pressure and the flow is done by how big the pipe is coming out of that tank and how high that tank is above you. Now they might say they can do so much stuff, but me undoing this and popping it on that pipe there is not gonna suddenly make all the pipes bigger and the tank higher up, is it? So that's why I don't think it's gonna work. But there is one thing about this, it does have a back scratcher on it and we'll be testing that in a minute. <laughs> 
Right then, so our tank is now full. I wanted to make sure it was completely full so you guys can't say that there's different water levels affecting the pressures and all that sort of stuff. This is a scientific experiment. Well, it's not, is it? Let's face it. I mean, look what we're doing. <laughs> look where we are. It's not very scientific at all. So this is our normal shower head. Normal shower head. Let me just turn this on and we'll see what sort of flow we get. I mean, that is... I mean, that's a shower, isn't it? But, I mean, it's nothing amazing is it it's nothing brilliant so let's pop on the carabash brothers beast right and see whether this turbo fan makes a difference I feel like i'm moving into the future i feel like marty mcfly in back to the future 2 possibly the second best back to the future i'd say back to the future 3 although it got better reviews just wasn't as good i didn't think so here she is the beast look at that the turbo fan there right to the go we've got a filter already installed very simple. So we're gonna try and keep it roughly the same height, so about here, which would be shower head height for the most normal human beings. Those of you who've met me will know that I'm not normal human being height. So look, screws on just normal, inch and a half, um, half inch male connector on there, screws on just normal. Everything's in. Right, let's turn the water on up top. It shouldn't come on yet. I'll point it down here just in case. <laughs> I'm sort of looking forward to this. Right, I'll stand up here. Let's see what this shower's like. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see that? Right, okay. I mean, it looks nice. That looks worse to me. That actually looks worse to me. What are these reviews that people are talking about? I don't get it. I honestly don't understand. It almost feels like it needs to slowly fill up with water to let the air out. Look, there's air like in the top half just here. Get a really close up look. Look, there's air there. Look, if I slowly turn it on, look, we're allowing water into the head now. Slowly fill the head up. Slowly fill the head up. Right, okay. Right, we're off. Right, now let's do it. I mean, that is awful, isn't it? <laughs> Genuinely, really, what? I mean, I mean, look at that. Look at it going round. It's not exactly, uh, you know, the most insane amount of spinning ever. It does have a nice pattern of water. Look at that. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, look, let's see. Let's turn it off again. And now let's see what it's like without the fan. Because actually, I can take this all apart. I mean, look, there's quite a lot of filters in here as well. I mean, the water, by the way, didn't feel any different, just so you know. So there's our fan, yeah, that adds all this extra pressure that obviously hasn't done a sodding thing. Right, turn it back on again. That's the problem. I mean, look, look at the water going in there. It's a tiny amount of water, look. It's a tiny hole. Oh, I know why they've done that. So it sprays on the fan. That's why they've done that. <laughs> well, I'm not very impressed with that at all. So look, there you go. So there's, that's, this is what spins, you know, this, this pressurizes the water as you've definitely seen. So let's finish off. You've seen how, how good this works. I mean, it's, you know, all I've done is present this to you on a video. One of the things I didn't realize when I was having a look at this is the fact that the water is introduced through <laughs> through a tiny hole and the whole point of that hole look that is the size of the hole just there i don't know if you can see that right there and that is the point of that is to fire it onto the fan so it spins around so you see it spinning around it's almost like false advertising whilst it's working all right well look let's take this back to my gaff get it on my normal shower my uh, what shower have i got a crosswater shower at mine at the moment uh get it on that and see whether the Calabash shower head actually does the job, all right? Right then guys, so we're over at my gaff at the moment. Now, first thing I want you to see actually is the standard shower head we've got here. So it's quite a big one. Uh, just gonna turn it on. It's gonna come out of that one first. That's that. There we go. So that's kind of like what we're getting there. I'd say it's a fairly impressive sexual shower, isn't it? Now, I've got a feeling the only way I can really truly test this is to get in the shower with it, yeah? Which means, of course, so long time subscribers to the channel will know that I usually wear a beautiful top just like this every time I test out a shower. And this is gonna be no different. I just feel sexier now, yeah? 
I do hope that it starts on this outlet and not that one. It's doing it. See that? Now that's spinning around loads more now. But the, I mean, it's still. Oh my god, I can actually, for one, turn it down. <laughs> that is quite cool, actually. Uh, but it's still nowhere near. Let's just see what it feels like, shall we? It's just tiny little holes. You, can you see it? Can you see the, the spray pattern? I mean, it looks beautiful. They've made this sort of spray pattern that goes around like that, but it's tiny little holes. And um, what does that tell me? If you've got, if you live in a hard water area, the tiny holes on this little thing here are going to block up. I'm pretty sure the filter does literally zero and will also block up over time. The fact is whether it's plastic, what's going to happen? It's going to get hot and cold, hot and cold, that can fail as well. That is just a gimmick, we know that now, don't we? But it's got a back scratcher on it. I mean, you know, let me just bring this to what does the back scratcher feel like? Let's have a little, let's have a little go with it. I mean, that's lovely, really. That's fine, it. No, I think well done, it's fine. So you've seen it like that. Let's take out this turbo fan, this amazing turbo fan. Okay. Yeah, look. Without it, it's exactly the same. No improvement. So there you go, guys. I think we've sort of debunked the myth here. Look at that spinning around there. It comes out exactly the same with or without the propeller. Um, it's no great improvement. In fact, I don't think it's an improvement on the standard chair here when we did the test back at the studio. So hopefully today's video has debunked that myth for you today. Thanks ever so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Get yourself, I think I've actually listed these on the Amazon store. So if you want to get yourself a lovely, sexy vest, you can. Uh, along with lots of other things that are featured in our fantastic YouTube plumbing channel. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. I'm going to have a back scratch. See you later. Oh, yeah. Good feeling. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I'm going to scrub the belly of the jean. Unfortunately, he's never dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good for that. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs>